Hello, my name is Dr. Green Thumb. Um, not really. Today we're going to be making a <clears throat> water pipe such as this. Um, here's a simple one I did last night, just messing around with Blender 2.5. Um, yeah, you can make it look a little bit better, uh, we'll see, I'm just going to show you how to get the basics down, you can just mess with it yourselves, um, alright, you're going to want to focus in on your ZX axis, because we're going to be spinning it on the z-axis. I mean, I guess you can do it on this side too, but I, I just prefer right here. Um, I'm going to go into edit mode, just with the, the cube that started with. Um, hit W, merge, and center. Extrude with E. Um, and just, you want to imagine what half like a like a sliver of half of the of what you're trying to make it you know since this is like a <clears throat> circular design you're just going to be taking like designing a sliver of it and letting blender do the rest for you so let's start off a little ice chamber or something And you're going to want to remember that that point, that the center marker right here is where the z-axis is. You don't want to cross that because you're going to be spinning it across it. Um, I'm just going to fill in this bottom chamber so you can add water to it later. Fill it in. All right, that should be good. Um, let's spin it. So we're gonna select all vertices. Um, you know, still be in edit mode and hit spin. It's obviously not what you want it to do. By default, it'll always spin on the y-axis because that's the one you can't see for some reason. So. Once you get rid of that, it'll figure out, oh, spin on the X, Z axis, but I don't know why it doesn't show it right there. You want to just confirm that. Um, then you want to change this to 360 degrees because obviously 90 isn't a good idea if you're trying to smoke weed out of it. So, yeah, 360 degrees. And you want a step for every 10 degrees. And then we're going to be able to, like, you know, stretch this out and make it a little skinnier or whatever. Just, you know, doing your normal stuff in a second. Just trying to get the basic shape down. And you want to select all. Take out of edit mode. I like to smooth it. Um, flat kind of looks weird doesn't look very realistic. Smooth looks a little bit better at least. And this is where you can really see each point you added. Each one of these points was dragged around and you can really see how adding more and more points, if you do enough of them it'll look smooth. If you only do as many as I did, you know, it doesn't, but either way, this is what we have so far. 
Um, let's add some material to get it looking a little glassy. You don't want to go to transparent. After you add your material, don't. I mean, you know, I actually like tinting my glass a little bit, so let's let's give it a little tint of green. Let's go green, really green. All right, dark green, kind of emerald. All right. Okay, we're gonna add some transparency and some mirror. Go ahead, and click ray trace. Turn down your alpha all the way. Check, check how that looks. Um, turn your your uh, IOR to three, so you can see your outline a little better. Okay, so obviously you're going to want to turn up your alpha just a little bit so you can see the color. Um, no, that's too much. Alright, maybe somewhere about 0.5. Let's just do 0.5. Um, okay, so 0.5 on the alpha, 3 on the IOR. Let's turn mirrors reflectivity to like... 0.15 okay. Shouldn't have to deal with anything else right there. I like turning up the hardness to about a hundred. Um, so let's take a look at that. Uh, so we got kind of a glassy look. Um, Let's go ahead and move our camera. So we can get a better little shot of this. Um, okay, so it's looking pretty goofy. Um, Let's go ahead and add a bowl, and that'll be the finish of just the basic design of one. So you know, if you maybe need one for like a set or just something in the background, it would be good just to have the basic design, very recognizable, not very functionable. Uh, next time, I'll maybe add some water and some smoke to it. Um, so let's go ahead and um, let's add a little background to this too. Um, Okay, now you got like a little setup, um, similar to the one I showed you at the beginning. Um, all right, let's add the bowl real quick. Now, for all intents and purposes, um, what I would do right here is I would save this um, and start a new project, make my bowl and then export it as an object and then bring it back into this and then that usually works out pretty well. I don't like mixing up all my stuff in one folder so um, um, let's see so for the bowl Open up your quad view. We're going to do the exact same thing basically. Um, edit mode, W, merge, center. Um, just imagine what one cross section of the bowl kind of looks like. Um, so. That's about it, really. That's going to be the bowl. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and 
take off quad view, spin this, do the same thing. I guess Blender doesn't learn. Um, turns that back to 360 degrees. One section for every. <clears throat> And my dad really is annoying. Okay, so we have 36 cross sections. Um, okay, let's select all this and then smooth it out. See how that looks. Um, take off edit mode. Smooth. There we go. Oh, we're getting a little bongy kind of bowl going right there. <coughs> okay, same shit. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so let's make this a different color. Let's kind of make it a kind of a see-through black. Um, remember transparency, uh, ray trace, alpha about 0.5. Because you're having if you if you're gonna add a color to your transparency, you're gonna instead of having alpha all the way off, you're gonna want it at least halfway so you can at least identify the color turn your IOR to 3 your mirror reflectivity about 0.15 so you got that kind of look going uh, let's see here and there's your little bowl so, um, let's save this. Now you're going to want to select your bowl and export it as a wavefront object. Your little water pipe thing then you're gonna import object wavefront find your object open up the object file import that baby and you can see him right here you don't want to just move that into place Got a little piece in there. And now I obviously didn't put any down stem. I didn't go into any detail into this really. Um, just getting kind of the basic, but you can, you know, reshape this even. So, you know, it looks a little bit better. Giant bowl for you potheads out there. So, you know, normally I would put a down stem in there and I'll do some other shit, but let's take a look at how this looks. Um, so, yeah, there you go. You got a little bong. 